For Andrew Strauss, this was a proud moment indeed, but it has been born out of a chaotic week for English cricket. A line Strauss walked well before the media. The times I did it before was very much in a stand-in capacity, so yeah, that's a very different dynamic to what I'm facing at the moment. Um, if we're honest with ourselves, it's been a, a tough few weeks for the England team in all sorts of ways, and we need to look to move forward. The two are friends, so this is a bittersweet moment for them. Do you feel some sympathy for what Kevin Peterson was trying to do and that he had to, in the end, resign? Do you feel some regret for him as a friend? I do feel some sympathy for him because, um, as I said before, I think he felt he was doing what was right. He took those actions because he believed it was the right thing to do, and as I said before, that is Kevin Peterson as a person. I, I personally don't think he should be vilified for that. Strauss has impressed in the captain's job before, if only as a stand-in. He is renowned as a cool head, without the ego that has been the undoing of Peterson. Strauss's appointment has been widely welcomed. Andrew Strauss is the best man for the job. Uh, he's a wonderful human being, uh, he's a wonderful cricketer, and uh, he's just the man to bring all the different parties together. Andrew Strauss has done a good job before, so there's no reason why he can't you know, get the ashes back for him. After the chaos of yesterday, a new era begins under the captaincy of Andrew Strauss. But he must deal with a divided dressing room and bring Kevin Peterson back into the fold. Not an easy task in the circumstances. The search for a coach to replace Peter Moores has begun today, but after the 156-day reign of Peterson, the maverick, England has been returned to safer hands. Ian Doverston, Sky News, Lords.